Hello, I'm A.D. Ramsey of DaVita Handcraft Soap and today we will be making Cream Dream and this has goat milk and um, shea butter and a lot of it. So it's a really hard, hefty type soap and for the mold, since it's a small batch, I'll be using my heavy whipping cream half gallon carton because it's already lined with wax and it's super easy to get out and I have an abundance of these containers. So let's get started. Oh, and before we start, shout out to Mother York for this beautiful apron. Handcraft, gorgeous. No, they're not for sale. She just did it for me. Catch it. So let's get started. Before I start blending, I'll tap it a few times to get all the air bubbles out. And now that we've meet, reached the medium trace, I'm going to add my colorant. Let me take this apart because I know that I'll end up dumping this whole project on the floor. All right, so we're going to add our colorant, which is mixed with a little sunflower oil to make it pliable. And I'm just going to dump it in and use my fingers. I ordered one of those little small mixers that you can put right in the cup. And what I received was a self-mixing coffee mug. Why you would need a battery-operated coffee mug, I'm not sure but that's what they sent instead. So, let me change my gloves and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have the color in. We're gonna mix it. that it's nice and mixed. We're going to pour it into the mold. Let me tap this down. And no, I didn't forget to put the fragrant oil, essential oil, into the mix. This is has so much fragrance in it. I don't I like my soaps to just have a hint of scent, not overpowering. So we'll put the little chopped up embeds. In fact, that's how I. I made these embeds. I made a whole soap with this same fragrance and it was too much. So I'm going to put the rest of this on top. Oh! Wow! 
what I should have done was spray those embeds with uh, rubbing alcohol. I didn't do that. Shame on me. So I'll have to make sure I push them down nice and snug. Why is it so bright? Because of the light. Oh, whatever. You get the idea. And I'll put just a few more on top. Just a few. And again, I forgot to spray it. <laughs> I love this color. Just a few. You know, it's just not meant for me to spray this. I keep putting my hand in there. And here's the final product. It's beautiful. It kind of looks like ice cream. Hence the name. <laughs> okay, so I will wrap this up and we'll show you the cutting video next. Hello, I'm Amy Ramsey from DeVita Handcraft Soap. And today we're doing the cutting of Cream Dream. And here it is. Okay, so let's unmold and cut soap. Mmm, smells good. And cut the first piece for me. Oh. All right. This is how the end piece looks. Alright, so I'm going to try to cut each piece not only straight but not so big. Let's see if how successful I am with that. But I like big chunks of soap. How about like that? No, it's too tiny. How about like that? Oh boy. All right, so stand over the soap. Push straight down. This has been in the mold for 24 hours. I should have took this out at 12 hours. It's pretty thick. Ah. Okay, so I don't know if it's picking this up. You can see just a little hint of color and it's so smooth. Let's see how much it weighs. This is the drum roll. I say five ounces. 
at nope. <laughs> But this is the size soap I like. And I know you're not supposed to do what you like. You're supposed to do what's right. And as far as I'm concerned, what's right is big chunks of soap. And when you get them home, if you want to cut them in, a, in half, by all means do so. This soap is really nice and firm. It's all that shea butter. Next slice. Okay, let's see how much this weighs. Come on, roll, please. Well, they're about, we'll say five and a half. Really, it's 5.8, but we'll say five and a half. Look at how pretty they are, though. That looks like cake. Yummy. So be careful when you buy these that you don't sit them on your kitchen counter somewhere. Someone might eat that. Or try to eat it. What about... Alright, one push. Oh. oh, now that's a perfect slice right there. Now that's definitely... Well, how many ounces? Ooh, see? Now this is a nice little slice. This is how this is how it should come out. That's a little too thin for me, but that's a good slice right there. That's perfect. But I don't like it. down <laughs> I am really leaning on this oh now there that's the AD piece right there that's too fat shave just a little off of here man okay let's see perfect but now it's crooked oh well oh look at that shave that just looks like butter Definitely do something with those ends. Okay, but the soap, it smells good. It's pretty. Um, don't leave it on the counter or someone to think it's a slice of cake. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if this video has been useful, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.